Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how you can set up BUT for streaming to an Icecast server. First we go to settings, then we click on add. Here into the name field we simply add any name for the server we want, for example my radio, radio station. Then we activate the icecast type. Now we enter the address of the icecast server, which is easycast.de in my case. Enter the port and the password. If you have set up your icecast server yourself, you probably already know all these informations here you have to enter. But if you use the stream hoster, then you will get the information from them. Most of the time, if you use a stream hoster, you have two passwords. One password is the login for the, that you use in the browser. And then you have another password for the server. So please make sure that you enter the password for the server here, but not the password for your web login. If you don't have any special information for the mount point and the user, you can simply leave these uh, default settings here. You might be wondering what this checkbox here means. Use legacy Icecast protocol. A couple of years, Icecast has changed the protocol for source clients. So they switched over to the put method instead the source method, which is more compatible with the HTTP protocol. So in case you have a problems to connect to your server, you can try to activate this checkbox and then try again. But usually you would not need to activate this checkbox. If you want to encrypt your connection, you can activate the use SSL TLS checkbox here. But in order to make this work, the Icecast server must have SSL TLS also activated. So for now we will stick to the usual configuration and do not use an encrypted connection. Okay, now let's click on add. Now after setting up the server, we will go over to the audio section and select our audio device. In my case, this is a Scarlett here, where I've connected my microphone. And you can make any other changes as well, like change the sample rate, select the codec you want. And even if you are an experienced user, you can also make um, much more detailed settings um, for the codec. In a later video, I will explain this section here in a much more detail. Okay, now after setting up the server and the audio section, we are ready to go. Let's start the stream and broadcast. Now, if you want to stop the broadcast, you can simply hit the stop button. Okay, now let's see how we can connect to an Icecast with an encrypted connection. For this, I have already prepared a few different Icecast versions. I would not recommend to use a version below 2.5 of Icecast, of the original Icecast server, um, because sometimes it can happen that if the connection gets interrupted and but tries to reconnect to the server, the server will not accept the connection. So let's have a look at this problem now. We connect to the server. Now we are streaming a couple of seconds. We disconnect from the server. And now we try to connect again. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it doesn't work. So it's not very reliable. If you want a reliable encrypted connection, I recommend you to use either version 2.5 beta 4 of the original Icecast protocol 
or any of the Icecast versions from uh, Karl Hayes, I guess his name is. And there you can see that it works much more reliable. So for example, let's try the original Icecast version 2.5 beta 3. Now let's disconnect again and reconnect. As you can see, it works very reliable. We can even try it again. It's still working, okay? The same is true for the KH version. As you can see, this version is also reliable. You can disconnect and connect how often you want. It's still connecting and working. Another advantage of the KH versions is, is that you can um, disable and enable TLS for the th same port which is not possible in the um, original IceCast version. So if I simply disable the SSL TLS option here, save it, I can, I can connect to the same server and the same port, regardless if the connection is encrypted or not. If I disable the TLS connection for the original IceCast versions, you can see that a bot will not connect. It will stay connecting all the time. So if you use the original IceCast version, make sure that if your server has encryption disabled, you also have encryption disabled here. And if the server has enabled encryption, you must also enable encryption here. Otherwise, bot will not be able to connect to the server. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found some valuable information and I wish you happy broadcasting. See you in the next video. Bye bye.